So today I have two environments being orchestrated by Butina. And I'm going to show a bit of the flow. I'm going to show the architecture. I'm also going to show and how this is integrated with Podman and um, a little bit of the API. So how everything is tied together. As you can see here on my, let me move my head here to the left. On the right hand side of the screen, there are several um, sensors that are basically not working, right? Humidity, power, pressure, speed, and temperature. So this demo is based on sensors that we uh, are all running on Podmat. There are virtual machines actually that have been provisioned on a hypervisor. The idea is to show how they boot and do a first boot, talk to Protainer, how we provision them, how we enable stacks on these uh, sensors and, and how everything is done, not only using Podman on the edge, but also Podman on Portainer. This Portainer is, is running on top of Podman on Fedora. Okay, let me show a little bit of the flow. I'm going to go down here and show a little bit of, of how this works. So the flow is the following. First, when the devices boot, they run for script to download the Portainer agent and deploy the Portainer agent and try to associate themselves to the Portainer server. But obviously this doesn't happen right away unless you want to. What will happen is that the devices go into a waiting room where we decide if the devices are trustworthy or not and associate them to Portainer. Okay. And then there's a flow of creating tags that will do the management of the endpoints or the devices. Then we create groups where we group these devices according to their tags in a functional manner. We add the stacks that are basically the payload that goes into the um, sensors as a containerized application. And finally, we update the tags on the devices to make sure that this payload gets deployed properly. The architecture that we're using is something similar to this. So there are two stacks. There's a business stack and there's an edge stack, everything being managed and orchestrated by Portainer. The stack that I mentioned is composed of four tools. It's based on uh, this Grafana, by the way, this Grafana instance is running on top of Portainer within the stack. I managed to embed Portainer in Grafana with the Ajax plugin. Everything that you see here is running within in Portainer, including this Grafana instance. So Grafana is here. We have uh, Mosquito as our MQTT broker. Telegraph as the layer that transports the messages from the MQTT broker and passes them on to the InfluxDB, the time series DB, so Grafana can display them here on the uh, right-hand side. Let me go back to the architecture so you see what I'm talking about. Here on the architecture, so as you can see, we have Mosquito here as an MQTT broker, Telegraph transferring the messages from Mosquito into an InfluxDB database and Grafana reading these, these messages in the influx uh, DB in a nice visual manner. There are five sensors, humidity, power, pressure, speed, and temperature. So the way we start doing this is by organizing things in tags. As you can see, there aren't any tags in here. There aren't any edge groups or devices. Nothing has been provisioned or even stacks. It's all empty. So. I'm going to start by booting the devices. And as soon as I boot them, they will go through a process where they do a first boot script and connect to a uh, pertainer. So this, as soon as I click on boot devices, they start working here in my Proxmox environment. Well, here it is. Okay. As you can see, I've loaded five sensors that are running Podman. Let me just see if these uh, machines are already in the waiting room. Yes, they are. They went to the waiting room. I did the first boot, which is the process that we see in the flow here. Now I'm going to trust these devices because they're not yet provisioned in Portainer. But once I click on associate devices, I'm saying these uh, devices are trustworthy and they can be provisioned. With these now, I have to create the tags and the groups that are going to organize my devices within Portainer with the proper groups. So here I created five groups and 
five tags that correspond to each of the functions of each device. So if I go into an edge group and I click on any edge group, I will see that the edge group has been created with the tag humidity. So any machine I tag as humidity will be thrown into this group. Now I'm going to add stacks. I'm going to associate stacks to groups. Stacks are done in this case, those files that tell the devices what they have to do. The stack is basically saying to each device, load the sensor payload and start sending information to Mosquito. That's what it's going to do. As you can see, we have, according to our flow, the, we've booted the devices, we've associated the devices, we've created the tags, the edge groups, we've created the edge stacks, and now we're going to update the devices with the tags. Now, before we do that, I'm going to show you that this stack is associated to the humidity group. Okay. The creation of these stacks can be done manually, but in this case, I did them using the API. So when I click this button, an API call loaded the stacks in Portainer. So I have my tags. I have groups for these tags. And the groups can be one or a combination of tags, as many as you want. And the tags don't necessarily have to be the function of the sensor. It can be anything. It can be a serial number. It can be a house name, uh, whatever uh, is best for your use case. And we have stacks that talk to the groups. So you have humidity talking to the humidity group, meaning anything that falls in this group will receive this stack. So once I click on update device tags, two things are going to happen. Number one. The devices are going to be updated with the corresponding tag. And number two, they're going to start receiving. As you can see, I've updated here and they start receiving the payloads from the stack. So in this case, humidity, power, so on and so forth. Let's go to the stacks. And the stacks start being sent to the devices. There's a summer for view of how it happens. Blue, green, and red. Blue being it's being provisioned. Green shows it's been successfully sent to the device and red is there has been a communication error. The device did not receive the stack. Right. And as you can see, all five sensors start working. They received the stack and they start sending that to Mosquito. So Mosquito starts receiving that information. And let me go into a, one of the devices. Let me see if I can browse into one of them. I'm going to browse into the temperature device for now. And once I click on browse, it's going to load as just any regular endpoint in Portina. And we'll be able to see what is running in this machine. Let me just click on where else let's get. Oh, there you go. It's loaded the Podman edge temperature device. And it's running to containers. The Portainer edge agent and the temperature sensor uh, software that is sending readings to the corresponding Grafana, better said, mosquito broker that's being read by Telegraph, sent to the DefluxDB, and being read by Grafana. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this demo. But just before I log off, let me show you. Yes, this machine is running Fedora. And we can see it's running the 4.1.0 version of Podman. Same thing applies to the main Portainer instance. This Portainer machine is running, let's see, Fedora, but it's running 4.2. The Edge machines have been loaded with the Fedora IoT image. And the main portainer machine has been loaded with the, the Fedora server image. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Thank you very much.